Hi guys, made it out to the Georgia Guidestones again today to do what I still can't believe I didn't do when I was there a couple of days ago, which is bring out my camera and film it. But that's the spectacular Georgia Guidestones that people actually liken to Stonehenge. You kidding? Are you kidding me? No. I just thought that I would give you a panoramic view of the highest point in Elbert County which doesn't really look very high because the land is pretty level, I don't know, but look at how toxic that sky is. Thought I might capture the surveillance cameras for you too. As they're watching me, I'm watching them. This is so unbelievable. It's probably a smart meter, it's a wireless surveillance camera. By the way, I'm going to link below to an article on the Georgia Guidestones for anybody who doesn't know much about it much about the history. But yeah, there it is. On the English side of the Godstone, that very well-defined, carved out little niche waiting for a cube to be inserted with a date on it. That date, 2014. And, look, we are already seeing a mass number of people being killed off. It's happening. This is real. And for anybody who thinks that I'm crazy, anybody who thinks that I'm a conspiracy, you are so utterly ignorant, it is beyond belief. Everything is so in our face today. The toxic aerosol spraying that you're breathing, it's toxic. And the GMOs that you're eating, they're toxic. And the water that you're drinking, it's filled with poisons and fluoride. And the sweeteners that is in all drinks and foods, toxic, meant to kill you off. So yeah, there it is. The fabulous Georgia Guidestones. Many speculate that Ted Turner put them up using this anonymous name, R.C. Christian. He's so not Christian, he makes fun of Christiana. Ted Turner is such a unbelievably sick, sick psychopath. But his first name is Robert. R.C. Christian. Many think that he used the name R.C. Christian because because he does make fun of Christianity, and it would be, oh, such a ruse to fool people that it wasn't him. Oh. Anyway. And funny how we're seeing ISIS everywhere today. ISIS, ISIS, ISIS. Too bad mainstream media isn't propagandizing that ISIS, the goddess of love. But if anybody knows the significance of 7-Eleven, I'd appreciate you dropping a comment below. That would be, what's 7-Eleven? Game on 7-Eleven. I don't think it's the 7-Eleven where you buy your coffee. So yeah, it's happening. We're being made sick. We're being killed off. And humanity at a perpetual balance. 500 million. Amazing. But yeah, there it is. I wasn't fooling you. Have a great night.